So the next feature I want to introduce you to here was, was actually introduced into Excel in the 2007 edition of Excel. Now I'm working inside of 2013 in front of you, but three versions ago and the newest version, which is 2016, all hold this feature. This is called Format List as Table. Now, looking at my list, I'm back into the exercise file, I'm back to the employee records list. There are many different things you would do with the list, such as what we're looking at here. We've talked about a few. You would do sorting, you would do filtering, you would do subtotals, and there are many more. You might do calculations, you might do pivot tables, you might format the list to make it more presentable. Have you ever gone through a list like this and formatted every other row? You know, maybe done something like this where I'll, I'll highlight every other row just holding down my control key here. Da, 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 da. I'll get into there, I'll format them now, I'll go to my home tab, I'll go to a little paint bucket, maybe I'm gonna make them light gray. You know, it makes it more presentable, easier to look at, right? But I did that manually. So one, it took me a bit of time to do. Two, what happens if I now sort this list? What if I jump into last name and I go to my data tab and I do an ascending sort? Well, I've now sorted my lists, but those highlighted lines are now shuffled all over the place. And, and you might get where some are actually crammed next to each other, right? Or look at this, there's two rows here where they're, they're not every other row anymore because I did it manually, I did it myself. And now when I sort it, that formatting gets sorted as well. So I just goofed that up. Let me undo this. Control Z, Control Z. There we go, I'll get back to my default list here. Let's turn the filters back off. Now, what if I calculate this? Let's say I get down to the bottom of my list and I'm just gonna count. I'm gonna perform a simple count here just using the count function. And I'm gonna count all these records. All right, I can see that I got 51 records inside of this list. Now, what happens if you filter the list? What happens to that calculation? Well, let's try this out. I'll click into my list, go to data, go to filter, and got my little drop downs now. Let's say I filter for department. I don't wanna see every department, I just wanna see AD and AC. That's it. I'll hit okay. All right, I've just, oh wait, I've got just AC and AD, but where did my calculation go? I don't see that number anymore, right? I want to know how many records I got here for these two departments. Ah, right? Well, you know what? It got filtered out. I can just peek into there, expand that column. There, oh wait, there it is, but I got 51. How many records do I have here? Right, that, that's, that's the full count for the entire list. So I've got some issues here. Formatting issues when I sort the list are gonna get all wacky. Calculations aren't updating for me. This is, this is a challenge. I'm gonna undo my filter. I'll just hit the big filter button up there. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and delete this calculation out. Just beep, gone. So these are two things among others that I wanna fix as I work with a list such as this. So this is where the format as table comes into play. Watch this. I'll click into my list, doesn't matter where. I'm gonna to go to my home tab. On my home tab, all about three quarters of the way to the right, I got a style section. And in there I got format as table. Now, it's just formatting at this point. So it really doesn't matter which one I pick. In fact, you know, if you're trying this out, whatever you like, to your heart's content, pick a color. I like blue. I'm gonna grab this one right here. All right. It wants to know, hey, where's your data? A1 to H52, that sounds right. Does your table have headers? Ooh, remember that discussion? Yep, my table has headers. I'll hit okay. And I've now formatted my list as a table. Well, what did this do? It alternated row colors. Yay, it did it for me. I don't have to do that manually, right? Cut that out. It gave me the drop downs for my filters. It built those two things right into my table now. Now what else did it do? It gave me a new tab at the top of my screen, table tools with the design tab, where there's all sorts of features. Ooh, you don't like blue and gray? Well, you can change the colors up here. 
Uh, it gave you remove duplicates. It gave you an export command. It gave you a bunch of options here for styles. Let's try some of these out. So one, underneath table style options, there's a few things, but I'm gonna turn on the total row. Activate that one, just check it. Now down at the bottom of my list, I now have a total row. And what's it doing? 51, what's that? That's a count of records. Look at that. If I click into there, it'll give me a drop down where there's some other functions that I can perform here. Ooh, maybe I want to sum up the phone extension. <laughs> Probably not. It's a phone extension, but just for demonstration, I jump in here and say sum. And I've now got a sum of all those numeric numbers. Doesn't make a lot of sense as a phone extension, but we get the idea. There are different calculations that we can use here. I'll just delete that. Gone. Now, you imagine that this list is going to grow in size. People are going to want to add records to this list. Well, you don't want to add down below because that would be outside of this table. In the lower right corner, barely see it right there, there's a little, little tick mark. If I grab that, see how I get a double-headed arrow? I'm just going to left-click and drag down, and I've now added more rows to the table. And if I start adding records here, let's say we got number 3,000, and this is going to be uh, Smith, and it's going to be Joe, and Joe's a part of the HR department, and so on and so on and so on, and Joe was hired on the 1st of January of 2016. There's Joe, and it's already counting Joe. 52 records now. Really simple. Click into your list, go to your home tab, format the list as a table, pick your favorite color. Really doesn't matter. But by doing so, it gives you the filters, the little drop down arrows, it gives you alternated rows, it gives you the ability to get into some design aspects like the total row, and various other features here. Format list as table. One contiguous list, Excel recognizes it, well formatted list here for you. Try it out. Open up the exercise file, hop over to employee records, go to the home tab and format it as a table. And then poke around, see what's available to you. But you now have a well formatted list.